Namaste, God's Goddesses and Emissaries of Light. This is Dr. Tayen. If you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to my quick energy read that I'm going to be doing for the collective for today, October the 9th. 2019 I am just going to tap into the energy real quick like I usually do I'm in and I'm out this I will have an extended version for just because of the energy of it and the feel of it all right but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into this I call an air fire water earth spirit and ether and I also call upon the highest of the highest of the high which is Yadhe who will be able to give me the information that is necessary for this beautiful reading in all directions, time and space, past, present, and future. And so it is. All right. So, crowning your reading for today, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this represents your person. Your person right now looks at you as being luxurious, a person that has it all, or they may be the ones that are holding the coins and may have a luxurious life or a luxurious lifestyle that they're living. Um, but I really feel like your person is affluent or they look at you as being affluent. Take what resonates. This is a general read. If you're looking for something more specific, I highly suggest that you get a 20 minute energy read for $50. I do offer those. I've just started offering this for a month now. And, um, it will tailor to your specific situation, all right? In the meantime, I feel like there's been a lot that has transpired between the two of you. I feel like you guys had a difficult beginning. And a lot of people think that, like, power couples like Jada and Will Smith and Beyonce and Jay-Z... Until she revealed to the world that they were having problems. Everybody just thought that they were problem free. Nothing real can be threatened, you guys. And it is those type of relationships that we look at as the idealistic relationships that go through the most. Look at Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Okay. Those are just some examples. But I'm going to give you an example of Will and Jada. When Will and Jada first started, you know, being interested in one another, Will Smith was married and had already had a child by his wife, but they were on the rocks. He knew immediately when he seen Jada that Jada was going to be his wife. And some people would be like, well, how could a person conclude so prematurely? You know, he just seen her. And just because he was having problems with his wife, you know, he just moved on to Jada because Jada was beautiful in form. Well, his wife was beautiful too. But the whole point of the matter that I am trying to make is to try to help you guys look at things from a higher perspective. That vibration and frequency does not lie. There are some people that come into our life that we have soul contracts with that are only temporary. They weren't meant to be in our lives forever. Okay? They came... They played their roles, they did their part, and they journeyed on to greener pastures like they were supposed to do according to the soul contract. Well, Jada and Will had a soul contract to be together for long term and not short term. And it worked for both of their careers financially. It worked for them overall as far as the children that they had together. And, you know, there, it still wasn't, you know, a rose garden or a pretty picnic. Okay, because there was still a lot of conflict between Jada and Will's first wife, <clears throat> you know, and especially when it came to Trey, um, you know, coming to spend a night and, and the ex-wife wanted to have a lot of control over what went on in Jada and Will's household. And Jada had to set boundaries and put her foot down as a woman. So I'm feeling that the same thing is happening with you and your person. Maybe your person is in a third party situation or they got themselves entangled into a third party situation or they may have already been in a third party situation when you guys have entered 
into your soul contract with one another. And they're just at the brinks of like tying up loose ends or basically untying, okay? The knot for some people that are married, okay? Take what resonates, but only you know your situation better than I do. All I'm saying based off of the current energy is that do not let it all hang out as the card that you got. Now, this could be literal far as like you overly exposing yourself physically, or this could be you overexposing yourself emotionally. Don't overwhelm your person with a whole lot of emotions because I feel like your person is going through a windstorm of emotions right now. Um, and just based off of what I can see, they're already overwhelmed. They're doing their best to manifest a happy ending so everyone can be happy. Like a happy resolve is what I keep hearing. And I keep hearing your angels and your guides, they keep telling me that nothing real can be threatened, that this partnership is meant to be. You have to believe that. You have to know that with every fiber of your being. And stop getting so caught up in what's on the physical plane and what's not evident right now. Because your eyes and your ears... They will deceive you, okay? Moving on, I feel like your person has made some decisions that were pretty hasty, okay? They pretty much jumped the gun, and now they're having to backtrack, okay? Or undo some damage that was done. I feel like your person that sometimes they can be very impulsive, they go in head and feet first without even thinking about a matter. Okay, this can be Piscean energy. All right, this can also be Aries as well because Aries are the daredevil of the zodiac sign. So, you know, it could be someone that is, um, you know, on their fiery nature with Aries energy that I'm picking up as well. But anyway, Piscean or Arian uh, or Aries energy is what I'm feeling for this person for the Knight of Wands. Okay, because the Wands deal with fire. But. I'm saying all of this to say that I feel that your person is kind of like white riding an emotional wave right now when it comes to the way that they feel about you, how their emotions are set on you. It's very passionate, but at the same time, they still have to untangle themselves from this web they didn't weaved. Okay. <laughs> and it is a web that they have weaved or, or a web that they have weaved indeed okay because you got keep shit clean all right so the person that you're dealing with is messy but you love them you love them and all of their messiness <laughs> they don't mean to be this way i just feel like it's circumstantial you know how sometimes we all have circumstances none of us are perfect and in the ideal world i believe that this person would want to offer you what it is that you're looking for but I don't feel like the conditions are conducive right now to be able to deliver you what you need at this time but I really do feel like they're cleaning their shit and they're cleaning their act up okay they're getting a shift together all right I feel like there's a, a huge transformation that's taking place for both of you right now not just your person Next, you have the Page of Swords. This person is um, very intuitive, very in touch with their feelings and their emotions, but they like to keep a lot of shit to themselves. And that is one of your pet peeves that really bothers you about this person. It's unnerving, okay? It gets on your first and your last nerve that this person is not really, he's not, or she's not really the type of person that is like wearing their heart on their sleeves. Like they're not spilling their guts out right now. And I may even sense that for some of you, you may not even be in contact or communication with this person. And then for some of you that are with this person, I feel like they have you in a third party and you're like the second person. And right now you're feeling like second best. And you're like, why in the hell am I in this position? How in the hell did I get here? But I feel like your person has been honest with you from the very beginning about the circumstances that you two have entered into. And don't take it personal because this is a soul contract. This is some things that you 
yourself need to learn how to navigate through and how to transform because I feel like this is building you up so you can have strength and character, okay? It's not as so much of what you see, but it's about how you process what you see, how you internalize what is going on. Because the way that you handle this situation is diametrically opposed to the way that you, you're currently feeling. I feel like you feel like um, you're an emotional mess. You're an emotional wreck over the situation. You fucked up. You fucked up means that you or your person fucked up. Take what resonates. You know your story better than I do. I'm just the messenger. But somebody fucked up. Maybe your person told you a half truth. Maybe they told you some of the story and they didn't tell you all of the story. Or maybe you told your person some of the story and didn't tell all of the story about how you truly felt. And so that person was like, oh, okay. So based off of what she said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this because she said that. But you weren't being true. You weren't being true based off of the circumstances because you didn't want to seem like the weak person giving all of the cards and playing all of your cards. So you was with withholding or your person either or take what resonates either one of you did not play the full deck based off of what transpired or what was said I believe a conversation has taken place between you and your person and this conversation was pretty much somebody going along with the ideal but not agreeing to it. Maybe this person wants to have kids and you don't or vice versa. Maybe they don't want to have kids and you do. And so you told the person you didn't want to have kids because they said they didn't want to have kids because they already have children by someone else in a third party situation. And it's a complex situation right now. So they didn't want to add more stress and make the situation more compounding. Or it could just be... Um, many scenarios okay take what resonates but it could be a situation to where maybe you want to live with this person all right but this person is already living in a, a, another relationship with someone else and you're telling the person oh well, i'm okay you know because i like my privacy but really you're not really you're suffering in silence you're really not okay you really want to be with this person because this is your dream person this is either a soulmate or a twin flame so this person and you have a faded partnership and you're not really being open and honest about the way you're truly feeling because you're basing your feelings off of what is being dealt to you right now. I, I, I want to say that you're, you're being a shapeshifter right now. You're just pretty much being a chameleon. You're going along with the status quo, even though you don't like the status quo, okay? And that's why I said you fucked up. You fucked up because you're not being honest or your person's not being honest. One of you are not being honest or both of you are not being honest right now. Because I feel like you both are kind of like going with the flow. And the flow is just pretty much taking you uh, away from shore. And I believe that both of you want to be at shore. I think you want to be, I, w I think you want that ship to be landed and docked. Okay. But right now, both of you metaphorically speaking, are out to sea emotionally, okay? All right, so I feel like there is going to be um, a re-energizing, a re-emergence of oneself. I feel like your person right now is really taking a break from the drama and the stress of this relationship and this connection, okay? I don't feel like it's just you that's stressing this person out. I feel like it's a combination of a lot of things, especially their existing lifestyle. Um, the people in the... I want to say the people and just basically their lot in life in general is becoming difficulty because they have a lot of irons in the fire. And I see your person juggling um, multiple issues in their life. And so right now they're just taking a break. They're on chill mode. Okay. And that may make you feel like they've cut you out because the four of swords can also mean cutting someone out. You may feel like 
they're pretty much cutting you out, but they, they're not, they're really reserving this relationship and they're really protecting this relationship to be quite honest by reserving their own energy. They can't pour from an empty cup. They can't give to you what they don't have to give. So this person is re-nourishing their vitality and their strength so they could be able to have that next win to be able to go um you know on further in this this union with you, the two of you okay <clears throat> one of you is doing too many fucking chores <laughs> so somebody is picking up all the fucking slack in this relationship and the reason why is because this is what you signed up for okay but you know, there is a hermetic law and it's the law of balance, okay? The law of balance is also the law of gender. Whatever is imbalanced, the universe will naturally put that shit back into balance. So that is what is happening and this is the reason why you're feeling that pull and you're feeling um, these shifts and these rifts right now in your life because things are being forced to go back into balance. I feel like you're overcompensating because you want to show this person that you really care. You want to show this person that you are there for them. They already know that, but they're in a compromising position to where they can't really give you what you truly deserve. So they're doing their best. But right now it's time for the balance of the scales to come back to play. It's time for there, there to be an equal exchange, an equal give and take in this situation. Last, you have metamorphosis. That is what's happening because this is the death card. There had to be a death put into this situation because really, honestly, what was happening before is no longer serving the both of you, all right? Meta means beyond the physical and morph is to change in form. So what is happening in this relationship is a reconstruction, a remodeling, a reformation, okay, that is undergoing this whole entire relationship in the process. The way that you guys once did things before, I feel like it served you at the time and it served its purpose, but I feel like you're moving beyond all of that now. I feel like there's an um, ascension that is happening between the both of you. You guys are awakening spiritually. And so it's requiring a new you. It's requiring a new emergence of you and the other person. And so this is the reason why there's a little wedge between the two of you right now. It's only temporary, but I really feel like there is so much that this relationship has far as potentiality that nothing that is real can be threatened. Nothing that you guys have preserved in love has been in vain. Everything that has been done, whether you feel like it or not, you may feel like you've been wasting your whole time, this whole time, why you've been in connection with this person, but really you haven't. Really, you have been laying step by step, day by day, the foundation for this beautiful new relationship that is on the way. There is going to be a reconnection and a reunion between you and this person. And if you are already with this person, for those of you that are chiming in and you're with your person, but you may feel like they're still distanced because they're still third party energy, whether they have children by someone or they're married to someone still, and you're wanting to have their undivided attention and you don't wanna share that same energy, trust me, this video is giving you confirmation that this person is re-strategizing their lives to make accommodations for you, okay? I have come to the conclusion of this beautiful reading. You will wanna come with me on the other side so we can see how this person is reorganizing and reorchestrating things in their lives and how they're gonna come back to you, all right? It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation if you feel inclined to, or you can purchase a gift from my wish list on Amazon and it will appear on a channel. I now wrap you on my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is, everyone. Namaste.